Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about time series. Now, time series is very similar to just a line graph, okay? But you're just going to be dealing with time along the bottom. So that is one thing that you need to remember is that time does always go along the bottom here. Um, secondly, you're generally going to have more than one line. So for the example that we're doing today, this is to do with the number of children per woman um, over periods of time from the 1950s up to 2010. Okay, and we have got the three countries there, China, Ireland and the UK. Now, I know the numbers are a little bit small, but I will be going through it anyway. Um, I just wanted to get the whole graph in. Now, you are going to need um, a pen that has more than one colour on it um, or different pencils. Um, pencil is quite good just because you can do it in pencil first and then you can colour it over in pencil after. Um, now, I've done these pre already just to sort of save me time because you probably don't want to watch me plot a graph i'll literally draw the axes so um i've looked in the table and i've worked out that the smallest number that i could see was 1.6 so that's why i've started at 1.6 at the bottom now i have included the squiggle because obviously we've got to remember that we can't just start at 1.6 okay we're not allowed to do that otherwise it will become misleading so i've added the little squiggle there um just so that we can start at 1.6 from there, I've just gone up in 0.2s, okay? Um, just so it makes it a little bit clearer. Otherwise, if I went in like 0.5s, although it would be much quicker for me to do, it might be less accurate, especially as some of these are in two decimal places. Um, so my final point is when we're plotting them, just try and be as accurate as you can. Obviously, there are, it's gonna be very difficult to do exactly, for example, 2.34. So I'm just gonna try my best to get roughly there. So um, I'm going to start with China. Um, so we're just going to be doing part A first. So all I'm going to do is go through the points one by one, plotting them. OK, and then we do connect them with a straight line. So you are going to need a ruler as well. OK, so I'm going to start. I'm going to just do China in red to start off with. OK, obviously you can pick whichever colour that you want. So. For 1950, China had 5.81. So you go from 1950, you go all the way up, following it up to 9.81, which is roughly there. Okay, and I just keep going through. So 1955 is 5.68. So again, very high. 5.68. Well, halfway between the two, because I've done two squares, that's going to be. 5.7 so just below there okay now you can just connect them after if you're worried that you're going to miss one just do it one by one okay 1960 is 5.47 so four that'd be five roughly there i think i'm just going to connect them after okay oh i need to go up just a tiny bit more because i've just noticed there is actually a higher one 6.0 so the next one is 5.8765 that's going to be roughly there okay next one so i've done the first four um, 5.5, that's the 1970s, isn't it? 1970, 5.51, it's going to be just above there. Okay, and then it's going to dramatically drop. So 1975 is 3.7, even further down. 3.78, so just below 3.8. Then it drops even further, so 2.1980 is 2.63, so roughly there, and 2.64. Okay, 1990, 2.34, about there. It drops again to 1995 is 1.87, so it's just going to be about there. Okay, 
um, 2000, 1.74, so about there, 2005, 1.67, so about there and 2010 1.6 okay so that's the first one done now um i am going to put a key at the end um for now i'm just going to keep coloring in the top bit so next are the um country so now we're going to do island and now i didn't pick green on purpose right okay so three so 1950 is 3.48 so it's going to be roughly there these ones are much lower which is a little bit nicer to do 3.44 3.44 a little bit higher put about halfway Um, 3.86 and 3.95 from now on 201970 so 8.1 Um, three point five seven, so just below, and then it drops a bit. Nineteen eighty is just three. And then drops quite a lot again, 1985, 2.45, so it's going to be there. Then it drops to 2 in 1990. And then 1.9, and then 1.95, so it's actually starting to rise again. And then 2005 is 2.03 and then 2.11, so about there. Okay, so that's island done. And then finally, we've got the UK. So hopefully the UK should be fairly similar to Ireland, I would have thought. So first one starts off quite low. So we're at 2.08, so give or take there. Then it's 2.33, then 2.69, so roughly 2.7. And then 2.76, so about there, then it drops, so 2.29, 1970, so roughly 2.3. Okay, so we're at 1975, 1.83, so we've lowered quite a lot. 1980, 1 1.73, then back to 1.81, and we've got that two years running. 95, 1.76, so it's going to be roughly there. 2000, 1.68, so it's dropped. Uh, 1.73, so it's up a tiny bit. And 1.86, so 1.86, roughly there. Okay, so you can just plot them and then connect them after if that's easy for you. 
um, I think it's easier, but that's just me. So once you've done this bit, this is sort of the final bit done. I am going to add a key at the top. Okay, so if you just sort of do a little box, colour it in and then say that which country it will be. So that's my UK. This is my island. And this is China. Now part B, we've got to come with two conclusions of the graph. So that just means what is it showing us, okay? And maybe the reasons why it has happened like that. So um, we're going to start with China. I'm not going to actually write anything down. I'm just going to sort of talk through it. So in China, the rates are very, very high, almost at six at some points. Okay, and then around the 1970s, it does reduce dramatically after that. So this could be that back in the day, a lot of people were having lots of children, but then as China got more populated, they then did try and reduce the population by putting a limit on how many children you could have, just to try and ease the pressure on the population, okay? Um, if we start with the UK next, so the UK, I said when we started plotting it, that I said it was quite low. Now, looking at the date, that's 1950. So this was only five years after World War II finished. And obviously during World War II, a lot of people did pass away um, due to the war. So the population was already diminished. A lot of the men did pass away and obviously left a lot of women on their own. So they couldn't reproduce as quickly as they would normally. Okay, which is probably why it is reduced. Okay, but then after that, it did start to boom. So around the 1960s, 1965, it was back to a relatively good rate. Okay, and then it does reduce again. Now, this is partly because contraception was part of a thing that happened at this point. Um, so contraceptions were available from the late 60s, I believe, um, if not maybe a little bit earlier. So that's probably why it's then taken a downward trend from that point. Okay, and then it's stabled off at the end. Okay. Um, Ireland has started fairly high, um, obviously halfway between China and the UK. Um, again, at the point of the 1960s, 1965s, it did increase, but it then did dramatically drop similar to the UK and China and then stabled off at the end. OK, so just sort of things that you could say, you don't have to involve history into it. Um, obviously, if you do know a bit of history to do with things that have happened so world war one two and etc that is beneficial but obviously you don't need to know it okay so just generally for part b you've got to describe what's happening so china was very high and then decreased at a very quick rate ireland was at a middle but then increased slightly over the 1960s and then reduced to a stable rate by the end of the 1990s and the uk started off low due to um, the war uh, it increased because obviously the population started to gain and then it leveled off into the noughties. 